When you begin your journey of fly tying, it's important to understand what your vise actually is, the basics of how it works, and how to properly secure a hook in that vise. So we're going to go over a couple of those starting points today. Now the vise in front of me is a rotary vise, which means that there's a pivot point here that allows the stem to actually rotate. You may be tying on a rotary vise. You may be also tying on a stationary vise that has just a fixed stem with the jaws out here on the end. And that's fine too. What matters here is that when we look at any vise, it's going to have a set of jaws. And the job of these jaws is to firmly and securely hold that hook in place. When I set this hook in, in the jaws, most jaws on most vices are adjustable. Uh, this particular vise has a pivot point here that allows me to either slightly open or close the jaws. And I want that opening to be just wide enough for me to slide the bend of the hook into the opening of the jaws. When I secure this, I want to try to ensure that the stem or the shank of the hook is fairly level across the top. And I want to bend this hook far enough forward so that it's easy for me to wrap and work materials all the way back to the bend. When I secure these jaws with this little lever, which may be present on your vise, you may have a lever down here in the top, whatever the securing mechanism is, I want that snug enough that I can take my finger and twang the end of that hook and have it not move or not go anywhere. It needs to be sound and secure. The last point we're going to look at in this video is how to properly secure your thread to the hook. So I'm a right-handed tire. To start the thread onto the hook, I'm going to set the thread on top of the shank and I'm going to start to take wraps back over the top of this tag in my left hand. So as I wrap, I'm going to come back toward my left. And as I wrap over this tag end, that's going to trap it underneath the wraps. And with just a couple of wraps, the hook is firmly and securely attached to my hook shank. I can snip off the excess and I'm ready to begin the tying process.